What's up, LNC fam? Welcome back to another video. Rebuilding a 2020 Porsche Carrera S with 40 miles on the clock. Pretty much brand new car and they totaled it because of a minor damage to the right side. If you guys haven't seen part one, I'll put a link in the description so you guys could check it out and be up to date how much we paid for the car and what the damage is. In this video, we're gonna start repairing the quarter panel. Also gotta repair the front fender and little suspension damage. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make this quarter panel 100% perfect. Pretty much get the car ready for primer so don't go nowhere if you're new to this channel and you enjoy this kind of content go ahead and subscribe and turn on your post notification because you don't want to miss any new videos we got new videos every week new week new video so go ahead and subscribe don't forget to like this video enough of this talk and let's get to work so we pulled the quarter panel as much as we can everything came out nice and clean and thanks to the pdr kit that we had i was able to get into uh, tight spaces and pop everything out so right now i sent everything down to the bare metal so we can apply a body filler make it nice and clean so let's take a closer look let me show you what exactly i'm talking about thing came out nice and straight so right now i'm gonna apply a body filler and kind of first layer that's gonna be my base and then i'll send it down with uh, 40 grip sandpaper it's really rough so major key when you apply your first layer the base of body filler and when you use the 40 don't let it dry up all the way because you want to take as much as you can off so that's the trick you gotta do to make it nice and perfect and even but i'll show you guys the whole process let's do it That is it, just applied my first uh, layer. This is pretty much the base, like I said. And uh, let me show you what's going on with this. Everything is good. So you guys see this metal sticking out, so that means it's a high spot. So I'm gonna slightly tap this in. And also up here, this all sticks out. So I'm gonna lightly tap this in as well. And then we'll apply one more layer. I already got my shape going. Oh, so far so good. I just tapped everything in, so yeah, everything feels good. We'll apply number two right now, round number two.
applied layer number two so we already got our shape and this one we're gonna make it uh, all the lines nice and sharp and I also gotta remove the wheel because it's kind of in the way I got my line going already so uh, on this round I'm gonna make it even sharper make this line and just clean it up what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use this little tool to mark my line and then I'll use tape to outline it and I'll start sending this side first make this side nice and perfect and then tape this off and do the other side like that so I'll show you guys the whole process So we're done with the body uh, filler with Bondo. Man, it came out perfect, love it. I wish you guys could feel it, it feels so smooth. So pretty much you gotta apply Bondo where you can't feel anything with your hand. So it looks and feels perfect. And my line is going good. Then I got my line here. So yeah, slowly coming together. So right now I'm gonna put glaze, the final. And we should be done and ready for primer. Check out the other side, see our body lines as well. This side, boom, it's going, going, going. And I got a line here. So yeah, everything coming out perfect. That's what I like to see. This is like art pretty much. Very exciting moment where you're about to apply the glaze, the final. So let's do that. And uh, let me show you what I use for uh, glaze as well. Let me show you guys the body filler and then the final, the glaze. Uh, it's a 3M product, A3M. Hey, by the way, if you guys are watching this, you guys should sponsor me already. I've been giving you guys shout out pretty much on every video. <laughs> but anyways, let me show you guys. That's the 3M body filler works the best i used a lot of things but this is the best out of the best and then here's the glaze the final finished so yeah this is number one and this is number two and you could mix them up with the same hardener and that's it there you guys go you guys are looking for good stuff this is it it's not the cheapest but it's the best so yeah once again 3m sponsor me <laughs> and i know you guys been asking yo vlad what's going on with the walls you guys couldn't paint them all the way well the thing is the bottom section of the wall used to be black so we put primer so this is all primer to cover the black and we've been kind of really busy to finish the walls but once we have some free time we're gonna paint the walls and we're doing the ceilings black so right now what we did, we installed all the cabinets and we paint everything behind the cabinets white. So once we have some free time, we'll paint the rest white and do the roof black. So patience, we'll get there sooner than later.
Bro, let's jump on this, let's apply glaze and uh, get ready for primer today. That is it, glaze is all laid down, dry and ready to go. So I'll start sanding this down and once again I'm gonna mark all my lines. And that's it, looking good. That's it guys, we're finished with the quarter panel. Everything came out good, even broke a little sweat, but it's all good. So right now, I'm gonna use this quick check, spray the quarter and I'm gonna see how everything looks. This is pretty much what the final finished product is gonna look thanks to this quick check. Yeah, this thing gives you like a finished look. Wow, looking good. Yeah, so this is pretty much how the finished product's gonna look. I usually check every corner. Wow, fantastic. Couldn't have been happier. It looks like factory. Like nothing ever happened. Done with body work, ready for primer, and we also got the new wheel and one of the control arms. Let's check it out. Here's the new wheel, brand new from the dealer, and also one of the control arms. This guy is bent, so we gotta replace it with a new one. We're gonna play a little game, we haven't played this in a while. The first person could guess how much this wheel cost will get a free LNC t-shirt. Comment below. Let's go. Let's check. We'll let the professional see if it passes the qualification. Chingon? Guess it's passable. You guys heard it from the master himself. We're good to go. Right now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do color send and buff a little bit to get rid of all those deep scratches and we'll see if it comes off or not. And let me show you what I'm gonna do exactly. So I'm gonna do wet sanding and I'll use uh, uh, 1500, 2000 and then 3000 wet sand. Then I'm gonna buff everything and once again, hey, 3M product, where you at? We'll be using this uh, 3M compound and there's a uh, one, two, and three. So this is a uh, polish, and this is the final. 
So yeah, let's give it a shot and see where we at and we'll go from there. came off looking good like nothing ever happened so all the scratches went away so we're good to go right now I'm gonna change this control arm and I'm gonna jump on this fender and start repairing this fender minor damage so yeah let's go so right now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna change the control arm real quick this way we don't have to do anything with the back anymore. Got to replace this real quick. You see how it curves and it's supposed to be straight. So I'll replace this. And then we'll jump on the front fender and do a quick repair on the fender as well. So this way we could start painting it. Just removed the control arm and yeah, it's bent pretty bad. It's supposed to be straight and it's like this. So yeah, we'll slap this one on. Should be good to go with the suspension. just remove the tire so right now I'm gonna heat the fender up a little bit uh, make it straight pop that thing out and we'll apply a little bit of bundle let's take a look yeah right here is a nice thing so I'll pop this out and apply a little bit of bundle That's it, I straightened the fender out, popped the thing out, so we're gonna apply a little bit of bondo. Let's take a look. Boom, nice and smooth. I don't know if the PDR guy would be able to pop this out. It was pretty, 
pretty strong aluminum and wouldn't do anything. So yeah, we'll apply a little bit of bondo and call it a day. That's it, just remove the paper cover, blew the car out. Looking good. We'll end the video here, stay tuned for part three. In part three, we're gonna start taking the car apart and start painting it. And I'll show you guys the whole painting process, so don't go nowhere. If you're new to this channel and you enjoy this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe and turn your post notifications so you don't miss any new videos. We got new videos every week, new week, new videos. So go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to like this video and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Do svidanya!